imagine motorcycling in the future. An experience that adapts to you. The changing traffic and to any road you're on. Imagine having a sixth sense of everything around you and being connected to your surroundings in an entirely new way. Imagine a whole new level of aliveness, free from worry, free from discomfort, free to enjoy each and every moment in its entirety. We did. some designs that we have on how to make controls work better for you than what's out there today on, uh, in the market, right? So a couple of these, uh, couple of these examples here. We have the, the shift mechanism. So basically what you see on, on different motorcycles today are examples of like these jog wheels, right? Um, one thing I notice on, on current motorcycles is that even this, as simple as a turn signal, I have to reach to touch that turn signal because of uh, the motorcycle's multifunction display. I got these extra wheels in, in the way, so it's not like the old traditional bikes in the in the 60s or 70s where the signal is literally just a flick on my thumb, it's right there. So understanding the challenges that we have today about being able to interact with a bike uh, 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 more, it's, it's all about bringing those ergonomics to be much more comfortable for you, right? Again, one of the underlying pillars of Damon is that uh, we feel that comfort equals safety. So if you're more comfortable with your bike, you don't have to go and reach around for different controls. It makes it makes for a much better riding experience. So I want to take you along for the, uh, the, the, the journey here from ideation to actually seeing this design here, the one that we've kind of like chosen. We take this, we take this hand sketch we translate into 3D CAD, and then and then from there we 3D print, and I'll show you our printer room, uh, samples of, of, of the fit and finish, and then from there we commit this to, to metal or machine plastic, and then that goes into our number, uh, number of our prototypes, which then ultimately goes into our production vehicle. We've gone from a, a sketch, right, a concept sketch, and now we're going through the, the modeling of that switch cluster. You can see that uh, not, we're, we're modeling all the details of it. So this is a functional switch cluster. It's not just a, a cosmetic one. So inside, if we go and kind of peek through the hole there or behind that, uh, that cover, this is the internals of all the switches. So we're, we're engineering how those mechanisms uh, work with the buttons that we're presenting. And then when, when we're finished with the, with the CAD time here, we send that over to our 3D printers. We print it up to test for fit. And then once we're happy with the fit, then we commit that to, to metal. In here is, uh, is Damon's uh, you know, 3D printing lab. Um, pretty quaint, but we have a number of machines that help us you know, print any size object from you know, <laughs> these little cute little stone head to a full body panel, so in full size body panel. So, if we if we decide to change the the look or design or add a feature to the to the to the body panel, we can just we can do that. Um, something like this uh, takes about four days to print, just because of the sheer size and volume. This is the final machine part of the one that I just showed you on the uh, in in the sketch. So we've gone from that sketch to a three D model to committing on this prototype, and this is a fully functional switch control. 
So we do that both for the right side and the left side. So these are these are things that, uh, you know, at Damon, um, these are the details at Damon that make us unique, make us uh, one of the leaders in, in, in the industry that uh, it is very much a holistic view. We're not taking off the shelf components and just putting on a bike and saying, hey, you know what? You, you got no choice, you have to use what you have. We're really, you know, understanding the plight of the rider and, and trying to make things that make sense for you.